Well, you know, my parents did put the first two down payments on my childhood. Don't get me wrong. But they did also return me to the hospital as defective. But like everyone else, I grew up in large part thanks to my mother. If she were only here today, I'd say, Hey, Mom, what are you doing here? You've been dead for nine years. <laughs> but seriously, you should have seen my mother. She was wonderful. Blonde, beautiful, intelligent, alcoholic. <laughs> we used to drink milk together after school. Mine was homogenized. Hers was loaded. <laughs> Once they picked her up for speeding, they clocked her doing 50. All right, but in our garage? <laughs> and you know, when they tested her, they found out that her alcohol had 2% blood. <laughs> Ah, but we used to joke together, Mom and me, until the tears would stroll down her face and she would throw up! Uh, yeah, and who would clean it up? Huh, not Dad. He was too busy down at O'Grady's throwing up on his own. Yeah. In fact, until I was 16, I thought throwing up was a sign of maturity. You know, while the other kids were off in the woods sneaking cigarettes... <laughs> I was hiding behind the house with my fingers down my throat. <laughs> the only problem was I never got anywhere. Until one day my father caught me. And, you know, just as he was giving me a final kick in the stomach for luck, I managed to heave all over his new shoes. <laughs> That's it, I thought. I've made it. I'm finally a man. 